Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you are new, and I am a mom to two little ones. I have a three-year-old and a 10-month-old, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my laundry routine. So because I have two little ones, we have a lot of laundry to do, and I have found that the best way for me to keep on top of it is to do one load of laundry a day. It's way less overwhelming, and that way I just stay on top of it, and I don't let it pile up and get really overwhelming. I'm gonna take you through each day of me doing a load a day. I'm gonna share with you what loads I do on which days. A tip that I have is to start your load first thing in the morning. If you want to, you can load the washing machine the night before and just have it all ready to go to start it the next morning. It's so easy just to, as I'm walking out of my bedroom to go downstairs, to just start a load of laundry first thing in the morning. Today is Monday, that's the first day of my laundry week. And what I do on Mondays is I strip all of the sheets off of all of the beds and I wash the sheets all in one day. Sometimes this requires more than one load. Actually, it definitely requires more than one load. We have a small washing machine, so I usually do two loads on Monday, I'll do the master bed, and then I will do a second load with the kids' bedding. I wash all of my bedding and my towels on hot to disinfect them and then I put this little setting over onto deep wash just because that adds more water to it and then that's it that's how I wash it and this is the laundry soap that I use it's the thieves laundry soap by young living I love this stuff it's super concentrated so you only need to fill up a cup halfway and that's for a large load it has a light smell to it it's not overpowering it's made with essential oils which gives it its scent and it is 100 percent non-toxic which is my favorite part about it and it does a really good job of washing my clothes and the best part about it is i don't use fabric softener or any dryer sheets because those are really not good for you. They have a lot of chemicals and artificial fragrance which can disrupt hormones and things like that. It's just not good for you. So anyways, all of that to say, I don't use dryer sheets or fabric softener, but I don't need to because my laundry always comes out super soft just by using this stuff. So like I said, I don't use dryer sheets, but I still want my clothes to smell nice. So instead what I do is I use wool dryer balls. I got a three pack of dryer balls from Amazon and then I use essential oils to make my clothes smell nice. So I have three here and I use different ones for different loads. For linens, like my sheets and my towels, I use lavender because I like that scent on linens. And then for everything else, for like our clothes, I use Citrus Fresh. This one is just a really bright blend of citrus oils and it also has a little bit of spearmint in it. So it's really fresh. This one's good for all things stinky too. So you can put it in your trash cans, shoes, things like that. And then I will talk about Oakley's separate load and why I wash his clothes separately in just a little bit when it comes time to do that. But for his little laundry, I use Gentle Baby. This one is... It smells like a baby. It smells so good. So since I'm doing my sheets, I'm going to do lavender. And what I do is I get my wool dryer balls and I put a few drops. It doesn't matter. However many you want to. I'm doing three 
for the load of laundry I'm doing now. I always dry my towels and sheets on high heat. Today is Tuesday and I am going to wash whites today, but I wanted to show you guys the laundry sorter that I have. This is from Walmart, but I will have a similar one linked in my Amazon storefront that I also really like um, for you guys to reference back to. I'll have that in the description. Um, but I always sort my laundry, oh, please moving it. I <laughs> always sort my laundry the exact in the exact same bin. So I have whites always go in here, darks always go in here. And then I sort out the reds and I put all of the reds and pinks in this one right here. And then I am gonna go show you the other laundry basket that we have. It's where Andrew and I put our laundry um, from the day. And then the kids don't have laundry baskets in their room because there's Emerson's room and Oakley's room is back there. And then this is the laundry basket sorter out here in the hallway. So it's easy to just like take their clothes from either the bathroom if that's where we've changed them or their bedrooms and just throw them right here and then a little bit later in the week when it comes time to do towels and Oakley's clothes I'll show you what I use to keep those dirty clothes in this is our other laundry basket that Andrew and I just keep our clothes in when we're done with them from the day so oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar another glass and I am going places makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about When I'm washing any of our clothes, I don't want any of it to shrink. So I always wash our clothes on cold and then I change this over to normal. Wednesday and I am gonna do Oakley's laundry today because he is almost out of all of his clothes I keep Oakley's clothes in a separate laundry basket in the laundry room Which is right next to Oakley's bedroom, so it's not a problem to bring his clothes in here I've had this laundry basket since I was in college, so it's kind of old, but it still works and then the reason that I wash his clothes separately he goes through clothes so much more quickly than we all do and if I were to try and wash them all together, he might not have clean clothes when I need them to be cleaned, enough jammies or whatever. So I just wash all his clothes separately and whenever I need to get more clothes for him, then I'll just throw it in the wash. So um, I don't always wash his clothes on the exact same day every week. It just depends on when he runs out of clothes. When I grow, I am all about adventure times. I'm not a drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind All the who goes to stage dives I don't care at all, baby Today is Thursday And I am going to wash the red clothes It's quite a
Today is Saturday, so it's the last day of the week as far as laundry goes. I don't wash, usually I don't wash any clothes on Sunday. So today I'm going to do towels, and I have a lot of towels, and my washer is not very big. So I'm going to end up doing two loads today, but I wanted to show you how I divide them up. Doing the two loads actually works out perfectly because I prefer to wash my kitchen towels separate from our bath towels anyways. So this is a laundry basket that I just keep right here in the corner of the laundry room at all times. And I just throw towels in here when they're dirty. And then when it goes, when it comes time to wash them, I separate them before I stick them in. I also come in here and I take down all the kids towels out of the bathrooms and then I'll go into our bathroom as well and take all of the bath towels and I will switch them with some fresh ones. Another tip that I have is if you have wet dish rags from the day and they're done, instead of throwing them in a hamper and letting them just sit there wet, hang them up to dry because if you let them sit wet, then they'll mold and start to smell. So what I do is at the end of the day, I come in here and I put my wet dishcloth over Oakley's hamper and just let it drape over and dry overnight and then the next day I come in here and I pick it up and it's nice and dry and I can throw it in to the laundry basket and it won't smell. <laughs> 